Hi everybody, Steve Scott again, and let's take another look at the Judo Advantage. Today, let's look at Chapter 5, Applying Technical Skill. If you're following along in the print book, it is on page 59. Okay, now what this is about, this chapter, is about Kazushi, Sukuri, Kake, and the fourth element, or third and a half element, that, that not only I've named it that, but others have well, Kime, or to finish, to follow through, to, to end the technique. Now, this book looks, uh, this chapter looks at both uh, Kazushi, Sukuri, Kake, and Kime, the building blocks of every technique, uh, not just in throwing, but also in ground fighting. And they're the same thing, really. It's the same principle apply to no matter whether you're doing a throwing technique or a ground fighting technique. So in today's uh, show here, today, we have two videos. The first one will be uh, concerning about uh, throwing techniques. And I'm going to do a, a dub over, a voiceover on, on about a three-minute three, three minute or so video on analyzing Seonagi and then analyzing Kouchi Makakomi, Kouchi Gaki, as we like to call it. A lot of people do too. Um, and they're two totally different throws, but the same principles, these same building blocks apply to both of them. We'll take a look now at the video on analysis of the building blocks of a throwing technique. So here we go. Let's take a look at Kazushi, Sukuri, Kake, and Kime, the fourth element or third and a half element in every throw. And let's take a look for Kazushi at first, breaking the balance. Two things you have to do. You have to move him into position and then you, once you move him into position as part of that moving, you control his posture and break his posture. So you can see here you move him, and you control him right in there and balance, and posture comes right along with it. Okay, the next phase here, we're looking at Soyanagi, by the way, Sukuri building the technique. You want to fit the body, arms, everything in the proper position, and then hook his body onto your body. That's what we call coupling. In other words, there you go. So it's the sukuri phase, the fitting in the phase, the building phase, constructing the technique. Kake, execution of the throw, the attack. Two main things, you have to actually lift him up. It's, it's the initial thing, the initial lift, and then trajectory control. It's kind of like a rocket. You've got to guide him over your body onto the mat with control and force. So that is kime. All right, you can see that. Coming up, Kime, I should say, is finishing the follow-through, and that was previously was Kake. Now we're looking at Kime. And you maintain control. Once you throw him, you follow through and make sure he hits the mat where you want him to hit the mat and how hard you want him to hit the mat. So that's a look at how Sui Nagi. So let's take a look at it here in its full-blown hit. Just come around, turn, and he puts him in position and throws him. Okay. Different throw. Kochi Makakomi. So it's obviously going to look different, but still the same four principles apply. Kazushi, Sukuri, Kake, and that fourth or third and a half principle of Kime. So here we go. We break his balance and posture just like before. Well, in this case, suited to this particular throw, Derek's going to move Eric, spinning him about as you can see. He steps back. Here's the movement phase. And he stops him, and that's where he's going to break the balance, break the posture right there, control the posture. Next thing comes Sukuri. He's going to build that technique. He's going to make that technique happen by fitting his body into position. All the body parts, certainly arms, legs, look how the hips have to drive through. This is definitely a, a Sutimi Waza, uh, and he's really driving through in that. You can see how the leg is hooking there. The actual execution of the throw is Kake. Okay, first the initial lift. In this particular throw, you don't lift him very high, but you're taking him through the air and throwing him, and you're guiding him down where you want him to go. So you can see Eric uh, is falling where Derek wants him to fall. Kimei, the finisher follow-through. In this particular case, it's a good Makakomi landing, and he spins over the leg, and he gets to the side, finishes with a good Osakomi pinning technique just to finish his opponent. So there you go. In its entirety again, here we go. Here's the Kochi Makakomi, Kochi Gaki. Bam, there you hit, come around, and control. I tried to explain that pretty well. Um, you know, it's give you an idea of what Kazushi Sakuri Kake Kime, and a lot of you watching this obviously know this, uh, but it's just, just a different take on, on possibly. Um, I, I did point out, and I think it's something that worth pointing out, that in Kazushi there are two separate events that happen in Kazushi, and I explain those in the video, so 
please take note of that. And also, I, I pointed out in the book uh, as well. So something to think about. Real quick, before we get to the next uh, phase of uh, the building blocks in, in Newaza, um, hey, the reason I'm doing these videos like this about you know, the Judo Advantage is just a supplement to the book. Um, you know, we, I want you to buy the book because it's a, a great book. I, I honestly believe in it. And I'm not saying that to, to sell books. I just honestly think we, we got a good product here, and I think it you will benefit from it. But nonetheless, um, my publisher, uh, before I started these, he really gave me this idea. He said, why don't you do some videos on just some golden nuggets out of each, you know, you know something you pick out of that book that might be of interest to your readers. And that's really the how this series started, you know, to, to you know, th those golden nuggets. That's what we're kind of looking for. So David Ripianzi, that's your idea. So thanks so much with YMAA Publishing. Uh, so now let's get back to um, the building blocks of um, ground fighting, Nawaza. The exact same things as they would be for a Tachiwaza or Nagiwaza throwing technique. Okay, it's a, um, you break the balance, you build the technique, um, you know, and you know, you control his posture and all that. And then you, um, the, the, thir the third element is the kake or the execution of the move. And the fourth one is the follow through of the finish. And that's the same across the board, no matter what. Now in this video, you're going to be seeing, it's in about a three minute or so video. Uh, it will be highlighting and focusing directly on a breakdown. Uh, in this particular case, from a front neutral position, I, I chose that position on purpose. Uh, to show you that it's it's a common ground fighting position, and it's very much like a throw. You know, when you when you look at these breakdowns or turnovers, these type of things, uh, they're, they're very much like throwing techniques only in ground fighting. So it's a great way to equate um, the, the the skills in throwing to ground fighting as well. Um, so that's what you're going to see here. It's a it's a breakdown from a, a stable to an unstable position. So that's a classic example of a front two leg breakdown from a front neutral position. The second move, I showed something totally different because I wanted to give a contrast, and that was um, fighting from the bottom in bottom newaza or bottom guard, and a, a sweep or rollover from the bottom. And again, the the same principles that apply in everything else: kazushi, sukure, kake, kime. It all applies and fighting off the bottom as well. So you'll see that hopefully in this video. Uh, there, there are some silent spots in it um, that uh, because of the, um, the graphics, you know, I just did some, some you know, titles and graphics on there and also some speaking parts in it where we're actually coaching the move, kind of get an idea what to do on it. So anyway, let's take a look now about another three minutes or so on the building blocks, the vital elements of Kazushi, Sukure, Kake, Kime, and Newaza or ground fighting. So here we go. Sometimes we get stuck and we're both in a neutral knees position, we're facing each other. So what Derek's going to do, he's going to really shoot under and get a double leg, but he's going to come to the side and he wants to turn that corner. Now that's pretty basic stuff. You'd be surprised how often that works. Okay? So he's going to pop up, get under and catch. Okay. So when Derek does this, he pops up and he comes around and he catches the double. Look at the head and the hips. That's essential. Now look where his hands are, okay? He's grabbing each leg separately, right above the knees. If he wanted to, he could split them apart, but you don't want to grab your hands together because you kind of, it just doesn't work as well. It's not as strong. You don't get to scoop him as deeply because what Derek's going to do, he's going to move around to his left and he's going to just sweep with his hands. Bam. That's a nice big boom. Um, look, if you're the bottom guy like Derek is here on the right, okay, he's, what we're doing, we're setting him up. So he's going to cross grip or arm drag Mike's left arm. And as you can see, he's starting out. And so he's going to arm drag that across 
to his own left hip. So you see, you got that, got that arm drag going there. When you get that, Derek gets that arm drag with his left hand, he's gonna quickly reach over with his right hand over Mike's right shoulder and see how he's grabbing here. As he does that, he's gonna be on his, on his haunches and he's gonna have that right knee jammed in there and he's gonna roll Mike to the right. Watch what Derek does. As he arm drags, his next move, okay, come on up just again, Derek. His next move, as soon as he starts to reach, he wants to, with that right knee, jam that in there quickly. Bam. He wants to stay off his butt. He wants to get on his left flank, his left hip. Okay, and you can see how he's got him there. And he just, then he does the sweep. He just rolls him right over and catches him. There's a lot more to be said on this total subject in this, this chapter. I, I, I tried to flesh it out a bit in this video, but there's so much more I've mentioned in this chapter about, um, you know, Mike Comey following through, that type of thing, winding or finishing the throw, some other elements of ground fighting that, I, that we didn't point out in the video today, uh, but just want to have time to it. I didn't want to have too long of a video here, but I did want to get the basic elements of what's in chapter five. And uh, so anyway, that's the judo advantage. It is available from YMAA Publications. You can go to ymaa.com. Certainly get it on amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, wherever good books are sold, like they say. So I hope you pick up a copy and can use it as a great resource for many years to come. So thanks for watching.